Hey everyone, my name is Ben. I'm the founder of Boring Crypto and I am the lead educator at LumenSwap. It gives me great pleasure to bring you another tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about LumenSwap's DAO client and how it can be hugely beneficial for both project managers and developers and for community members on the Stellar Network. Before I get into the uh, meat of the video, I wanna just tell you that this is gonna involve crypto and crypto is inherently risky. At no point do I ever give a green light that you should be getting involved in any project, right? All I provide is anchor points for you to do your own research. Yeah, use this as just one of a plethora of different types of videos and different contents, medium posts, articles, and social media content, etc. And you make your decision whether you feel these projects are good are a good fit for you. Okay, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is no way financial advice. So as long as we are clear on that, and I've always maintained that in all of my videos, that you must take the bull by the horns with your own research no one is going to do that for you we all have different risk appetites and we all have different ideas of what we want to do on our crypto journey okay i'm glad that's out of the way let's navigate to lumenswap.io click on to launch app come down to the bottom here and here we have the dao or the decentralized stroke distributed autonomous organization and this essentially just means that we have the ability to hand as a project a lot of the decision making and the voting over to the community to see what exactly they want to see happen with lumen swap and the partner projects in the future great and also from the community side it's fantastic to have a voice that can in some way be heard i feel <clears throat> that when we look at a democracy um it's particularly challenging to think that the electorate on and the voters are necessarily ever going to get their voice heard it's going to be the lobbyists and the big money corporations and backers of campaigns. What I mean by that is if you've got 100 million and you are backing a political campaign, and let's just say that I'm all for farming cattle and, um, and I want there to be uh, guns kept, right? So I want there to be beef cattle farmed and I want there to be, um, you know, the people of a specific nation maintaining firearms. Now, I have bought you with 100 million and you are the politician. You are not going to bite the hand that feeds you and you are not going to say we are all going vegan and we're getting rid of guns. You know, it's not going to happen. And this can be extremely frustrating, even if the electorate, the voters in your area want there to be guns gone and everyone to be vegan, right? It's the one that's paying the money that's going to be getting the, um, the voice of the political person or party. And, and I'm as sad as that is, that is the way the world works at the moment. And there's evidence of it absolutely everywhere where people trudge off to vote, but essentially we're looking at two wings of the same bird and we are looking at you know our vote meaning very, very little in relation to the millions of dollars that are buying political campaigns. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. Let's get on to why LumenSwap's DAO client is a positive step in the right direction. I will not say it is a solution, an all singing, all dancing solution, because I don't think there is a DAO model that I've looked at in crypto that has got it 100% right. You know, there's been the models where it's like one wallet, one vote to try and make it almost like communism, right? Where everyone's equal. But the problem that you have with that is then someone can go out there and create, you know, 100, 200, 500 wallets and they can have bots voting and they, they with a very little amount, they can be having a really big say on the direction of that specific vote. So I don't think that that model works. And with this model, 
you can have a say in what's going on. You can stake your, <coughs> your tokens from these different projects. But again, if you've got a boatload of these tokens, you can have more of a say than someone that hasn't got very many tokens. So it's geared again for the whales and not the minnows. So like I say, there's there's not an ideal solution out there at the moment for me, but it's a step in the right direction. It's a project saying, hey, we want the community to have a say. And I'm going to give you a very real example of this right now uh, with one of the proposals that's coming on the DAO. So let's get into it. If we click on to the DAO here, it's DAO, D-A-L, uh, D-A-L, D-A-O, at dot .lumaswap io. you will see the board. There's four projects that are using proprietary LumenSwap DAO software client. That is LumenSwap, of course. Rabbit, which is a decentralized Web3 wallet with a suite of different wallets from extension wallet, desktop wallet, that both of those have been launched, and the mobile wallet that is going to be coming in the summer. We've got Nuna Project Art. There's a collection of fabulous people from across the world, artists and people that are uh, interested in uh, preserving cultural heritage um, around in, in their specific nations and, of course, in other nations around the world. But also they're interested in NFTs, they're interested in rewards and, and elevating the whole of the Stellar Network through a lot of positivity on their channel. So it's a really, really cool project to check out. And then we've got Drift Exchange and most people know that you know, I'm an advisor over at Drift Exchange as well as my role with LumenSwap. And Drift Exchange is probably one of the most innovative uh, projects that links in with NFTs uh, that there is on the Stellar Network. You know, it promotes projects, it promotes artists, it gives fantastic uh, rewards for liquidity provision and staking and, and so on and so forth. So there's, there's a lot to be getting your teeth into. And it's Drift that I'm going to be highlighting today purely purely for the fact that i know there's an upcoming proposal that shows the power of what can be done with this kind of software and that's one of the reasons why i made this video today so we've got a completed uh, proposal here to show you what can be done you know when the team were talking uh, about marketing it was well we we want to protect the token price we don't want uh, to sell the native token for marketing if the community don't want us to do that. What should we do? And you can see here, one of the team wallets decided to make this proposal. Should we begin marketing or not? And the community voted yes. Responsible selling of Drift was to start happening uh, throughout, throughout uh, April. That's great. So that's the, the team have allowed the community to decide should we sell our native token. So if there's any fallback on anyone in the, you know, in the team that, oh, you're selling tokens and dumping the price, oh, here, look, you, we've said responsible selling. This is what we're going to do. We've laid it out for you. You voted on it as a community, and it's been passed. So it, it's almost like a, um, a way that the, uh, the team can remove a lot of the responsibility for potentially contentious decisions, the ones that are going to be the what you know where there could be fud surrounding them. There could be some like negativity, you know, if you're oh the team are selling their own tokens kind of thing. We all know you can't buy marketing for crypto and in the real world with your own native token. You're having to sell it out for XLM, USDC, or go onto other networks and pay in USDT to get any kind of marketers, especially if we go into YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter, do anything for you. So that was a really good move, I believe, by uh, Phil there to ask the community. And the latest one was actually a member of the community that didn't have the funds to make the proposal. So what I did was I saw this and being an advisor, I went to Phil, who's the founder of Drift Exchange, and I said, look, there's a really good thing that's been brought up. Is there any way we can have a community wallet that has some funding from the foundation that will allow community members with really good ideas to bring proposals to the table for everyone else to vote on. 
So rather than having to have a lot of drift, you'd have to have like 4 million at the moment drift to make a proposal then for people to vote on it. I said, well, let's us, you know, as the project provide the 4 million because it only gets locked in. It doesn't get burns or anything. It only gets locked into LumenSwap. Lock that in. It's actually LumenSwap software, but it gets locked into the network, right? So, but I'm not going to go into the technicalities of this. It gets locked in uh, as a pending balance onto the, the Stellar network, the Stellar ledger. So what Phil's done here, if I click onto this one, in his latest um, proposal, should Drift Exchange lower the proposal cost of the DAO? So meaning we're allowing the entrance point to make a proposal for the direction of the project to a lot more people from 4 million down to one eighth of that uh, to 500,000. And you can see here to involve more of the Drift Exchange community in the direction of the project, we propose to lower the cost of making a DAO proposal to just 500K. And one eighth of what it currently is, that's a big, big step down. And that is to me a big sign that Phil really wants to integrate the project with the community and hand it over over a period of time completely to the community to be making these proposals and to be you know bringing in new developmental phases for drift exchange when that starts to happen and people feel that they've got the power uh, to to unload their ideas and to direct a project i think that that, that encourages evolution and innovation and we're going to see the best ideas come forward. Don't forget, if a lot of people don't think it's a very good idea, they will just get canned. You can put, no, please keep the proposal price the same. Or you can vote, yes, I vote for the new price. This is not started yet. It starts um, on the 28th of April for just five days. You can come across here and you could actually connect your wallet that's compatible with LumenSwap and you can vote on that proposal whether you think Drift Exchange should lower it. Now that's just one. I mean, we can go back to the board and we can see here, if we click on to LumenSwap, yeah. So they've done a, a, a similar thing. The required amount to create a proposal in LumenSwap governance. But they were starting off with 2 million um, LumenSwap and they decided to, to bring it down by 50% to 1 million. Drift Exchange wanted to come down a lot lower uh, and to be way more inclusive. It's still very difficult to get a proposal through on LumenSwap. And in some ways I get that, and in some ways I don't. In some ways I understand that because I think you know, you're, in, you're, you're uh, inviting spam by making it too low. Um, but you've also got to find a happy medium with the community about how you can actually uh, bring ideas to the table and their voice is going to be heard. And I think with LumenSwap, it could be that in the you know, not too distant future, we see another one that's bringing this way down. And I would say, you know, for me, 100,000 is absolutely sufficient. Yeah, 100,000 LSP is absolutely sufficient to make proposals, bearing in mind that with these proposals, you can actually uh, vote against them. Uh, you know, if you if you don't feel strongly about them. So I think that would protect it from spam. I think the community are very passionate behind LumenSwap. And if something that wasn't going to uh, elevate the project and the community was brought forward, the community would then vote that down. So that's really all I have to say on the, the DAO client. Projects can come in. It's only 50,000. I mean, when we go back to the boards, you know, if, if this is this is open, this is open to any stellar project, any it doesn't matter which one you're going to have to apply, you're going to have to, you know, approach uh, support.lumenswap.io and you're going to have to like, you know, um, give a little reason basically, you know, why you want to use uh, LumenSwap's DAO um, proprietary software. And you know that LumenSwap are very, very picky in the projects that they will have as verified on LumenSwap and as partner projects. And the reason for this is that they want to ensure that they've done their due diligence, their side. It would be nothing worse than having one of these projects and it'd be scamming, you know, people and they, you know, they do a, a hard rug and run off with everyone's 
uh, finances. It would, just, it would just be horrendous. So LumisWap are going to look into it. And they've got four or five people uh, on their team that will look into projects um, ranging from the amount of trust lines, the marketing, social channels, activity, um, through to like the roadmap, website, what the solution they're trying to bring and any product that they've already made. You know, So a lot of these things they'll be looking at. But if, the, if it passes, it's a green light. Uh, it only costs 50,000 LSP. So 50,000 LSP is provided to LumenSwap, and LumenSwap will then burn that to 50,000 LSP uh, so that it's reducing the LSP supply, uh, the native token of LumenSwap, and then that project will get added to this board. The project itself will dictate initially how much it should cost to make a proposal, but of course then proposals can be made um, to lower that, as we've just seen with a couple of instances there. I think that Nuna have also utilised uh, a couple of times. Here we go, look. Should Nuna invest marketing funds into land plots from action tokens um, and add Nuna USDC pair to LP rewards? Uh, so this has been revoked and this one has gone through. So we, they didn't, the community there didn't want to see the LP rewards. Uh, with USDC, um, but they wanted to purchase uh, land plots from action tokens. So you, you, it, it can be anything. It doesn't matter what the idea is. Um, you know, it, it could be a whole host of different things from marketing sites to development to liquidity pool to holding rewards to, you know, costings to team uh, members being brought on board to all sorts of different things. And I think have for me having the voice from the community and knowing whether you as a project are on the right track is is an absolute great thing i've I've already said i think there's some things that need to be ironed out and that's ongoing but having some voice from the community having some voting is better than having nothing uh, so even though it's work in progress I think it's a great step in the right direction and I'm thoroughly thrilled that LumenSwap is the first person to offer this to the whole of the Stellar Network. No matter where you are around the world, you can come in, your community can access this with a very, very small cost and a very, very, uh, very easy point of entry for you to come in. You know, you've only got to approach the, the project itself and, and just write out why you feel that your project should take advantage of this. Thanks very much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this kind of content, comment underneath with any questions that you've got about the different projects. Give us a like and a subscribe and share this content with other people. I think one of the biggest things that we need to do on the Stellar Network is just make people aware of what is available here for you to utilize. So once again, thank you very much. Look forward to joining in the next video. Take care and have a great day wherever you are around the world.